there, Jay. It's your old pal, Mr. Jay. Welcome to the Mixed Chicken Cameraman Competition Season 2. Guys, this is round 2 of auditions. 2 2. We're here. We got the same guest judges. We got Michael Green, Brian Spitz here today to judge the competition. Guys, I don't know. I think we're going to get a busy day. We're going to get a lot of people coming out. Is Brian trying to get Fit. lucky today? We're all trying to get lucky. We're trying to find the special winner, guys. So uh, drop some likes on the video. Let us know in the comments yeah, below who you yeah, like from is. today's round. Oh, yeah. And you can also let us know from previous video who you like from that round. But uh, we're going to get started. Swift, <laughs> find us our competitors. Next. Okay. Are you for the cameraman competition? Uh, do me a favor. We're over there. Sign an NDA. And we'll come and get you. What's going on, man? Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, I look at a celebrity here. What's going on? <laughs> well, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, we'll take the NDA that you signed right here and the resume right here. One audience choice in 10 day film challenge. Tell me about that, man. Uh, so we do a film challenge every year. Mother <laughs> 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 That, that was rolling on that wide right there, yeah. Do us a favor, man. You'll get in the round three if you can solve that Rubik's Cube in 10 seconds. I'm not smart enough for that yet. Oh, all right. well, that's honest. That's honest. Um, but yeah, man, tell, tell me about the, the film challenge. So we do it every year, and um, we we took second two years in a row. This year, we, uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to win it because we have a really good like film crew to work with. I'm actually like, I don't work on camera most of the time, but... I have like this other kid that works on it by direct most. What's, what's your goal? What's your dream job? I want to be an actor, but ah, it's kind of hard. What do you think, Brian? You think uh, you think you cast this guy in a movie? I think he's getting there. I think he's I think he's got a little work to do here, maybe. So what if we needed you to play a werewolf? Could you show us a werewolf right now? <laughs> right now? Yeah, man. Like Halloween, full when, werewolf. When Halloween comes up, we want somebody who's like you, pretty. You step back on that axe, would you? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. And just go full werewolf. Full werewolf? Full werewolf. Alright. Like turning into a werewolf or? Both. I'd want to see the transformation and the final form. Right. Yeah. Flip the switch like that. <laughs> Damn. What'd you think of that, Mike? I was impressed. <laughs> Mike was almost speechless there. I'm speechless. I mean, I didn't prepare for it. That was good. No, it was good. You was definitely good. couldn't have prepared for that. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, that's no, how could you? <laughs> right. I didn't think I was going to have to <laughs> act on anything. So that, that's where your passion is? Yeah, but like, I would like to direct. Like, that's my, my main passion is I would want to direct, but yeah, acting on online. Mm, I mean, I just want to get my hands on everything so I can know each angle and Every, everything like that's why I, I would want to be a cameraman like I like to get every job and like I, I like carpentry too like I build my own stuff like I build my own lock cabin I'm on my second lock cabin I'm building right now it's a 20 by 20 so I just don't like to get my hands on everything I like film a lot like Pulp Fiction is my favorite movie of all time I like uh Reservoir Dogs yeah. Quentin Tantino is my main my main guy best movie ever man Pulp yeah. Fiction yep yeah. Pulp Fiction and then um I don't know I just love film Martin Scorsese like him I don't know if you've seen any of our videos, but like we've done some crazy stuff. Like I got darts thrown on my back. <laughs> oh wow. We do a uh, blindfolded taser challenge where we like lock the cabin, we hide tasers in it, blindfold it, and then we just whoever finds the first wins. <laughs> Have you ever let a live boa constrictor choke you unconscious? No. Would you? I mean, I've gotten choked out by one of my friends, like if I do their safety. Mm -hmm. Precautions. We'll have a professional wrangler like there. On set. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I'll do it. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Are you willing to gain 200 pounds? <laughs> I don't think I physically, physically could, but if I could, I could. We're not trying Michael to replicate Banks. Swift. I want to see what you can do with the camera. All right. So uh, you make it through the next round, bro. Congrats, right. man. Awesome, man. Uh, when do I have to come back? Or? So I got your email. I'll be in touch. Do you have a Twitter account, man? Uh, Twitter? Yeah. yeah. You write it down, man? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Nice to meet you. Congrats, man. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, congrats, congrats, man. man. Yeah, thanks so much, man. Thank you. Come on.
When I went to Disney, I dropped it off a roller coaster. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, wow. That's exciting. I don't think you understand what this job entails. Yeah, that's what I'm nah, saying. Because yeah. you can't be going to I school. I mean, Swift, did you understand what this job entailed? Not fully. I just knew it was a grind every day. Yeah. Especially during my virtual escape. I'm about to oh, use that oh, again. <laughs> Get this thing away from me. It's like Boris and Goldeneye. <laughs> you've seen the pulp. You've seen Pulp Fiction, right, Larry? No. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 Michael, let's go. There's your, oh let's my go. God. Let's go, oh, honey. Yeah, go. You take that thing out there. Oh my God. Next. Wow, they got arrested that fast. <laughs> oh wow. He channeled the howl like it was like he was like caught from a hairball at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? <laughs> what are you doing, Mike? Get Brian's phone. <laughs> oh my. What? <laughs> what? Oh, we got. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Well, I started off working in a gas station pretty much, and I hated it so much that I became a manager. So, um, I Wait, left what? there. Yeah, I hated, hated it so much. So much it became doesn't a make any sense, but it happened. You know? doesn't make... So, after that, I found an opportunity at a casino, uh, brand new. It opened up in upstate New York. Do you gamble? No, no. I can't. You took a gamble coming out of here, man. And I tell you what, man, that's what I said. I was like, I've never done anything like this in my life before, so. Are you blackjack table? Uh, blackjack, baccarat, roulette, uh, learning crafts. Oh, they float you around? Yeah, yeah. Every day is different, man. Yeah. Tell me something that you learn at the job. Uh, stay humble, pretty much. You know, there's always somebody that's going to be better than you, pretty much. So, being humble is number one priority, pretty much, because as soon as you get that big ego in your head, you know, you have a supervisor or a pit boss comes over and knocks you back down, hey, you're doing this wrong, you know, get to calm it down. That's pretty much, I just gotta stay humble. Cinematography and film was my passion at one point. I wanna rekindle that passion. And where, where did you initially get that passion? You, I watched you on YouTube and you made me actually wanna go and become a new media major. It's absolutely insane that I get to see you in person. It's really a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank you. That's pretty wild. Um, yeah, that's what I said. I can't believe I'm even here right now. It's like so surreal. Or that's why I'm here, because of the travel opportunity too. I want to, I see you going like VidCon and all that stuff, I'm like, I want to be a part of that, you know. So, I, I'm totally looking forward to traveling, that's like one of the number one things I'm looking forward to, working and traveling. What's a favorite video that you, you've watched? Oh, um, Devil, uh, no, Devil Outside, when you uh, smash all the mirrors and everything like that. I mean, oh, like that too. Boy. That was yeah. my favorite video of all time. And then, I recently found a uh, Disney Songs of Real Life video that I've never seen, and I shared that on Twitter. I'm comfortable with anything you want to create. That's what I'm here for because I want to work for you. I want to give you, you know, more for your brand and everything. And I want to learn from you as well. So, if, do you script this guy? Like, is he your cop? No, I mean, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, I, I kind of like this guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, shorter, he's shorter in person, man. I don't know if you've ever met him before, man. I, Who, I'm me? Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, no, that's the first time I got called short, so. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You're way taller, man. I'm usually right. calling other people we, short. We hate Swift, so keep that up. This <laughs> laugh, <laughs> it, when it pisses yeah. everybody off, it's the funniest thing. Oh my god, it's the, so funny. All right. Hey, yeah, everybody gets glad he's like, you're done. Part of the job is you have to hate Swift. <laughs> I want to see what you got with the camera, man. You're making it through the next round, bro. Congrats, <laughs> man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you Thank got it, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Nice job, Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> we're all liars, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get liars. Best, like, what, what's in here now, too? Is it like pepper spray? You want an actual outside? Yeah. 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 I mean, you want an Oreo? These are real. Yeah, those are real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna take one. Thank you very much. Literally poison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want Twitter, Twitter email. Wait, is that is that on here? Oh my God, this one shocked me too. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, just know. leave! Just leave! We're gonna keep getting you! We'll get you Chris, congrats, bro! Yeah, 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 yeah. Congrats, man! Literally, I'll be yeah. in touch! I thought it was Swift's cousin. He's my favorite so far. Yeah, really? I, I agree with him. Next! competition going? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. Mr. Steven Spielberg, would you like to audition to be a cameraman? What's up? Would you like to audition to be a cameraman, Mr. Spielberg? You look like Steven Spielberg, the oh. director. Yeah, right? Yeah, would you like to audition to be a cameraman? Would like, I? yeah, full time paying position. No? Alright, thank you. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> nah, would you like to audition? Uh, maybe later. You, I mean, come on, right now, we got nothing going on. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of working right now. I, I can take you. over the desk for you. Uh, I mean, maybe later. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. Mr. Spielberg said he knows nothing about cameras. 
That's oh, uh, well, he usually has people do it for him. Yeah. I think Steven Spielberg would know about camera. I've seen shots where he's behind the camera like super. That doesn't add up. Yeah. Swift, go out there and make double check. I, I, I literally talked to him for like ask 30 him if, seconds. Ask him if he's sure. My virtual skate was better than Ready Player One. Go. I'm not in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Triple or nothing? Really? <laughs> Talk about demontinization. You still can't pronounce that word? No. Guys, if you didn't know, this Rubik's Cube and this pen literally shocked the crap out of you. Yeah, you poop yourself. So if you're wondering what's happening. Also, the Oreos are poison. Holy sh**. Hey, what's up, man? Oh my god. Oh. Hey, we'll take that NDA right here. Alright, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Well, I live across the street. I go to Round. And I was getting food. I was out last night. And I was going back and I was like, I saw a pink Honda in the parking lot. And I was like, they can't be real. So I just went up behind the license plate and I was like, oh my god, he's actually here. Well, you were doing the auditions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but he said if I wanted, I just came in to see if I could say hi or whatever. But he said I had to come in and like do an audition if I just wanted to say what's up. But, oh, oh so you, you you're not here it. for the job then? No. Oh. All right, well. It takes $100,000 a year. I mean, like, like I'm kind of a student right now, you know, so it's kind of like major? environmental project planning. There's something wrong with this pen. <laughs> huh. There you go. Thank you. Weird. We got to get some better pens up in here. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Oh. Huh? Nothing? <laughs> oh, he's got it. Oh, my God. Larry, what? what? Wow! Well, Impervious. I'm gonna go on a uh, battery run. Do you want to get a picture real quick? Yeah, let's get a picture. Alright, don't mind. We appreciate yeah. it, though. Because he definitely. What? Are you kidding me? No, he me? definitely activated both. I think. Yeah. Come back! I think he's the cameraman. If he can sustain electric shock. He's the one. Wow. Oh, awesome. Hey, wow. I would take the NDA right here. I'll take your resume right here. I, I haven't used the camera since I was five. Oh, I wow. just, yeah. Honesty. Wow. Okay. Um, what what brings you to Ridge Studios then? I've been wanting to meet you in person for a while. Well, let's get some pictures. All right. Yeah. 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 Hello. Oh. Okay. Hi. So I'm a no fan of Angry Grandpa. I've been watching you guys for a while now. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, hey, we'll just take uh, we take the forms one. right here. We have one X. Oh yeah, we only have one X. So this actually got two of you guys. Yeah. yeah. What's uh What's going on? I mean, I did YouTube before, like I did with product reviews and then posted them on my thing, but that was probably going back years ago to, to when I was in high school. Are you guys a team or? No, I just met him out here. Yeah. I, don't oh. even, I don't even know him. I mainly usually do it on my phone, and like when I get a camera, I usually do it with a camera when I get a chance. What kind of camera um, was it? I think it was a G7. Oh, it was a G7. G7 Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Mike. You understand? Get two angles. If you guys, if you guys both applied together, that's what I'm. That's what is going on right like now. A team right? Thing, that's right? like a, is that is that what you guys are trying to do? I mean, we, yeah, we, we can. Good. I'm down for it. Because yeah. I, I don't, if you think about it, the time say we're doing MVE or Racken and Isaac doing a scene, that, 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 imagine that, 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 you guys get like two angles going at twice once. As, twice as fast, actually. That's what I'm saying. We don't have to like you do your lines, I do my lines. You don't have to keep panning back and forth. You guys can just shoot one angle. Piece. Exactly. That would be perfect. I can see this being the dream team. We're actually gonna be casting something for this October. Oh, um, that's fair. actually kind of like a Wolfenstein, like werewolf type stuff. Where would this be done here? Uh, I don't want to disclose the location, but. We locked down. Let's just say we locked down a whole forest to shoot this. Okay. It's like million dollar budget, and we're looking to cast werewolves. Um, but you got to be able to act it. So I can. Yeah. And Anze is the werewolf hunter. I like that. That's not. I can. Bad. I want to be the hunter. Yeah. You want to be the hunter? Yeah, that's probably the werewolf. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll switch it up. Anze's got a good build. I, I think. He, I, I think he could be the hunter or the werewolf. This could be like a starring position. Just go with it, guys. Go with it. Yeah. Seriously, we're not here. I like where this is going. Ooh. Let's go. You're a little something different, I don't know if I want to hunt you. Ooh. 
It ain't gonna be easy either. You're gonna have a hard time with this one. The more the better. You're getting hungry. You're getting hungry. Yeah, getting hungry. Start looking oh, oh. Moon is up. Moon is up. I'll shoot you, man. Oh, he's got his gun out. He's got his gun out. Do it. Oh, oh, he's got the gun. Oh, silver bullet. Yeah, got that one. Oh, no. <laughs> when are you turning? Oh, dude. Oh, he's full wolf. Oh, he's wolf, dude. He's gonna howl any second, dude. I hear that breathing. Wait for that howl. Wait for that howl. Somebody howl. Oh, come on. Oh, uh oh. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, oh, still, still nice. All right, all right. What do you need? What do you want? You want food? You say you want food. Yeah, I want food. All right, I got some me and my bag from a couple wolves I just killed. You, you okay with that? Fine. Hmm. Oh. oh, I like yeah. this. I like this improv. Me. I think you good. Damn good. All right. Wow. I like this. Gave some meat. I didn't even yeah, think of that. Good. Damn good. All right. Wow. Hey, <laughs> all right, gentlemen. Yeah. Right. Brian, what do you think? I really like that. I mean, I like the improv going there, give him some food, get out of the scene like that. That's, yeah. that's sticking on your toes. So, no. social security number? We don't need no. that. <laughs> we don't, no. Yeah, we don't want that. No. Yeah, that's mine. It's too much liability. Mm -hmm. What the? Does it work? Number. How much money did we spend? That was like a $50 pen. Yeah. It's hard to get good pens around here. Penisland.com, guys, if you're looking for yeah. a good one. Really? Yeah. Go check it out. Penisland.com, see what you guys can find. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. I was like, I'm fucking done, dude. I'm oh, out. That's right. how we go. Swift, why do you keep bringing people who don't want to be coming here for the audition? They're just sitting out there, man. All They're right. just like Hold Steven Spielberg. Why is this thing seriously broken? No, I think these guys are like just impervious. Because I did it and I got so shocked. Try that one more time. Oh just my goodness. Sure. And don't fraud yeah. us this time. Be honest. Yeah. Now, here, you try it and then I'll try. No, I have already tried it. Bring me a winner. The next one is going to be the McTurnance Cameraman winner. Yep. Okay. Next. Can you give me my pen down there? He's got three of them now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Swift is the part where Swift stands on the egg. Is that what you're leading yeah, up to? Yeah, I mean, like, all right. Swifty. Come on. No, seriously. Ow, is there any not... part of you, bro, honestly, that like wants to come back? No, doesn't. Yeah. No, just, no. What? Like, give us a percentage, like maybe a two percent, five percent, two and a half. Two and, two and a half. half. Yeah. All right, yeah. Come in. Some All right. Right. yeah, here comes. Oh, Tesla. what the heck? Oh. Tom, dang man, what are you doing here? All right, we'll take your uh, NDA right on the edge. Hey, you're 23 already. That's the neatest handwriting I've seen yet. Um, I like the polo, Tom. So you didn't bring a resume? No. Uh, so I don't even need to know your name. So what, uh, well, let's just for formality. What's your name? I am Thelnaga for 7,000. Tom, why are you talking like that? <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? Um, <laughs> what? I told you not. All right, Tom. So I, I, I hope you're serious. Oh, we'll have you stay on the X, please. Just on the... I mean, this is serious, yeah? This is completely serious. What's going on here? I told what? you to take your medicine, man. What? I'm on medication. Um... Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but you're serious. You're serious about the job. I am serious about this position. I don't know what's happening, but I kind of like it. Um, okay. Well, what would you say your name was again? I am filmographer seven thousand. Filmographer. So you have experience holding a camera. I am designed for filmography and cinematography. Okay. Have you ever used a DSLR? I know how to. Okay. Um, what is the biggest value you think you can provide to Rigid Studios? Whatever is requested. So, if I ask you to, uh, do you, are you comfortable being in the videos? I'm signed to be behind the camera, but I can if you so desire. Wow. What's going this on, Jeff? Like, what, what is this? Are you comfortable with, like, like, fans? If you wish me to be. So you could interact with fans at VidCon, per se? As well as anyone else. Is there anything that he can't do? Like, I think are you like a, are, are you, is this, <laughs> I'm confused, is this, are you a robot? I am me, that is all you need to know. Is this? Yo, not my house, bro. No, 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 I'm kind of feeling something here. So you're designed to film, I, that's what I'm understanding? Correct. 
I like the way he said that. Swift doesn't validate me like that. So, okay. So, do I need, like, are you running, what are you running on right now? Do, do I need to pay the, you? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll get dollar. How much? All I said was, I'll, I'll get dollar. What does that mean? Is that text to speech? It means that money is good. Pay me, please. You take Bitcoin? Sure, why not? Okay, so do you I need to charge your batteries before you're coming in to film for me? No, I am mostly self-sufficient. That's that's better than all three. Of Why are you humoring yeah. this? It's, you don't charge the batteries as a human being. I'm not so sure. I am not a like you. What? I've never seen this happen. I've never seen this sign. What did Uncle Larry say? Uncle Larry did. Do you take medicine? Medication is not worth it to use on me. I met Tom I've never two agreed. days ago, and he was not like, I've never been with medication either, kind of like where you're going with this. D is there anything I should know about? I do not know what you mean. What's the answer to life, man? They don't have references say 42. This is unconfirmed. Huh. Can you, like, yeah, there, can you do uh, videos, say if it's raining outside, are we going to have a rust issue? No. Very direct. How much money do you, like, need? That was just an expression. As for actual pay, I am not sure of what the actual rate is. Okay, what inspires you to do filmography? It is what I was designed to do. Do you, do you feel anything? Yes. Have you ever felt love? Yes. Was that thinking, or was it processing, or what? That is not your concern. Ooh, I don't know about like from the up there. there. Yeah, well, maybe he does feel something. I felt something there. I just got to be concerned, man. Like, I, I feel like people get real sociopathic in this line of work. Sometimes they're not exhibiting true emotion. Is that something I'm going to have to be worrying about with you? No, I was designed so that this would not be an issue. Mostly, like, on the fact. Can I trust you? Yes. I can't argue with a direct answer like that. Could yeah. you elaborate on that? Like, am I, if I, can I have you in the house? Yes. Have you ever told a lie? No. Wow, he's you, better than the last one. Do you have believed? Do you believe in lying? That falls under very strange definitions of the word believe. That's this is good. freaking me out. Could you define believe? Not right now. <laughs> Notice, do you see how his eyes are moving? I think he's processing. <laughs> it's like processing. <laughs> yeah. Do you sleep? <laughs> Occasionally. How much sleep we talk about? For the authentic experience, I am programmed to have eight hours per day. Where you're inoperable, you can't do anything? No, I usually can. It just has inefficient values. Inefficient values? Did you come out of, of did you come out of a human or were you born in a factory? I am unsure. You don't know what your origin is. No. Do you want to is that why you're here? Because I'm not doing handouts. Are you here because you don't know where else to be and you don't know where your home is? What's going on here? I was designed for filmography. Is this guy? Have a I mean, this guy. He's, yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, you have a channel. No. Yes, he has Larry's Lounge. This is Tom. What are you up in? Like, this is not Tom. I've met this him. is not Tom, dude. I'm telling you that right now. He might say it's Tom. He's, he's off his medication, Jesse. You got like some. No human does. can do that voice, and no human can. I don't. I've never seen this before. I've always felt there was something going on. I'm eating my Oreo. Yeah, I'll take an Oreo. You guys up? Do you eat? Would you like an Oreo? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I guess, and I do not wish to. You seem like you're programmed to do the job, but I just haven't seen your camera work in action, so it's a little difficult for me. I'd say, I'm a I'd yes. say he's making. I'm a yes. Are you eating the cookies, dude? I'm fat. How do you feel about the human race? Oh. oh. Humans are a okay. That was a program dancer. I feel I am empathetic to that. And look, Swift half the time acting like a freaking robot too. So I like you. What uh, filmographer seven thousand it was? Correct. Congratulations, you were making it through to the next round. Firm. Okay. Yep. All right, filmographer. We'll uh, I will be in touch. Actually, if I could just get uh, I don't have uh, I don't know contact with you. I already have your social media information stored away. Well, I was gonna hit. I was gonna contact you. I can contact you if it's easier for you. Um. 
That way you have my information directly on your social media. Uh, that, yeah, I guess that's pretty convenient. Okay. All right. Well, you can, uh, uh, I'll, you email me, I'll email you back. Okay. Okay. All right, filmographer, uh, we'll see you. Have a good one. Very well. Be safe. You put him through. That, that might have been a mistake. Dude. I don't want to make it. He's cousin. designed to film. It's your cousin and he's lost it. Yeah, he's no, definitely yeah. unstable right now. I'm going to yeah. tell you right now. No, no it's was, not him. I'm oh, telling you, right, it's not him. Jesus, Jesse. It's not. It looks, I'm telling you, it's not it. It's not. Larry knew about it. He got up and left. I don't know why, probably because he's intimidated by he it. He said he needed his medicine. With the car, get okay. medicine, dude. Okay, I, I understand all that, but I'm just thinking... What's oh, that, Larry? Larry, what, Larry, what was that? You took... Tom's got some serious... Is that Tom? Because he said his name was Filmographer 7000. So I don't know what's going on. I sent him through. Because he said he was designed to film, and I like that kind of commitment. He was very direct with all his answers. Have you seen that before? From him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about it. Well, I sent him through, so he's going to be going. I hope that's not, you know. He said he can film well. So I told Swift, Swift at the time his deadpan and doesn't have any emotion, and this guy, I mean, that sounds like he's a perfect sociopath for YouTube. He's, yeah. Come on, Brian, you're going to tell me most of Hollywood. I thought you left Hollywood because everything's turning so automated. You got robots filming and things, everything's CGI. This is what Rigid Studios needs. To get you gonna tell me I get a you get an automated machine filming videos? It's not a machine. Jesse's lost it just as much. I time. shook the hand. I'm gonna tell you, it felt cold and clammy. Maybe he's cold and clammy. I don't know. I mean, you realize that he's my cameraman, right? I think you have Tom filming. That was not Tom. Well, he's one person, so I mean, it can't be divided in two. Hmm. Unless there's another filmographer, 7,000. There's never going to be another one of those. That's why I like him and I want to see him through. So, exactly, because he's Tom. It's ridiculous. I don't. I can't believe you put him Holy through. crap. Dude, look at that. He wrote that. What? Yeah. That's like freaking windings from on Microsoft. So, you're going to tell me that your son writes like that? He literally does block lettering. You see that, Brian? I haven't seen him write like that in a long time. That's basically C. Like he somehow did blocky letters for print or for signature. Larry, I think that you need to look into getting Tom some help or something because that, that, that's kind of scary to me actually. He's already had it. And it's not him. That's what I'm saying. I just can't believe you. What kind of medication is it? I'm just. Oh, there he is. Yo. How you guys doing? Good, man. Uh, Tom, are you. Why are well, you'll take, you know, take the NDA a... and, and your resume. Yep. You, you already auditioned. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You can stand on the X. How did you change your clothes so fast? Wait, stand on the X or? Yeah, yeah, stand on the X. Stand on, okay. How did you change um, your clothes so fast? I just got here. Told you. That's what I'm saying. You were just here. You were being like a robot. Uh, yeah, you uh, can't what? audition twice and you can't just double change. Tom, is this for real? Yes, this is for real. You're genuinely auditioning I'm genuine. Job. I'm here, aren't I? I've been waiting for this moment for so long. No, this isn't happening. Oh, uh, Tom's here. All right, so. You got your degree finally. You graduated in the last, what is it, summer? Like May? It, it, it's almost a year, yeah. Um, says you work here for Larry's Lounge as cameraman. What makes you want to work for me? You do have the larger channel, and there's a, uh, you know, with that would come a little bit better benefits. Admittedly, the views you know, aren't really there for some other things. And uh, would you be willing to delete the channel? No. Uh, you're not deleting our channel. Well, if he's gonna technically, no. everything is under your name. I don't own anything of the channel. Yeah. He doesn't have any. This is our channel. This, well, not anymore, obviously. Well, yeah, he's, I mean. Assuming this goes through. So you're committed. Well, no, there was a period of time where the channel was in his name, wasn't it? It switched to like reverse. Yeah, but he didn't yeah. want it. It, 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 went, it went back to him. If you want to give rid of those specific so, videos. If you get this job, then that means you're not cameraman for me. Well, I can still do camera work for you. Well, well no, can. to be fair, Tom, uh, this year is going to be a lot of traveling, as I told you, and so we might be gone for weeks at a time. So 
So is that cool? Is it cool, Tom? Uh, I mean, I, it wouldn't hurt to really get around a little bit more, you know? So I'm saying, a little MagCon, a little VidCon, I mean, we me and your cousins, yeah, we know we can family. trust them. So you're good with like... So you're, you're good with just destroying the whole channel? Well, you know how to film vlogs and edit them. Yeah, can you have the Joe film? Yeah, what about Wait, Joe? Joe? Joe's hardly ever there. There's no way. You could vlog yourself cooking. Yeah. I mean, this is, you gotta start thinking about Tom here. What does Tom want? I mean, this would be a better paying thing. You just got through as that robot guy. I don't yeah. understand. You didn't even talk to me about this. You just mm -hmm. show up. You, and you want to be a camera. I figured that we'd you know, talk about it now since you know, this would be happening since you would be no, there No, this anyway. isn't the place to talk about it. The place to talk about it was at home. I think this is a very courageous thing to do. It probably was not easy, Tom. And I, I think me and you, cousins, the whole family thing, there's a trust there. Mm -hmm. Tom's proved himself at the lounge with filming. I think this, is just, a, this yeah. just makes sense. Right? It doesn't you make sense. You can't always trust family, Jesse, okay? I'll attest to that. All right, he's well, already leaving. He's leaving his dad. All right, well, that, what you call a family, I don't know what that situation is. Dude. You're right. I mean, things that. are different down south. But, I mean, what do you think, Uncle Larry? Would you send Tom through? No, I already put an X through his name. Oh, Jesus. Brian? Why not? I mean, if he's, he's got, got the job. Yeah, got the brothers going. Yeah. Got Tom. Trust. He's already through. So, yes? He's already through. Mike? It doesn't matter. You guys got three. You don't need my vote. You guys got three. Tom, he's gonna. You're okay with him just killing my channel, right? I just want to see the camera work, man. You go through the next round, bro. Jesse, awesome. I did not know you were coming out. I'm super pumped. Through. He's going right now. How is he gonna do two like things? Huh? What? As the robot and as Tom, how was he gonna do that? I liked it, that. Is it? Are these guys pulling something right now? They think you're. You're trying to pull my leg on something. Are we crazy? Larry, okay, Larry, Larry, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. All I know is I liked a few of the contestants. The robot guy seemed a lot knowledgeable, and Tom has a passion. I like both. Tom, we'll be in touch. I got your full resume. All right, and I mean, you already know how to contact me, so. You got it, bro. I'll literally go. ride my bike down the street, and uh, we'll it, see you the second round. Congratulations, all right. man. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you home, Dad. Oh, yeah. I'm right. throwing his dad under a bus here. I like him. Always have. I think he's good. Look, I'm sorry, Larry. I mean, the work ethic on that boy, I mean, he's been moving some logs, hasn't he, finally? Yeah. What's next? Is he going to be talking to himself like a robot voice? Like, you're going to have him go like, do prop inventory, and then next thing you know, we're going to have another swift condition That's where he's other talking guy. to himself and different personalities? Yes, the other stop one. saying it's two people. It's Tom, both times. You're going to tell me no human can do that voice? You watched him! I don't know what I saw today. I, all I know is I like them both. I'll tell you this, you don't like to travel. One of them did. A robot seems like he, he no pro I think he knows he's best friends with the plane. I did this all for Tom, the channel. Not I didn't do it because of myself. I don't want to do it if Tom's not part of it. You no. don't understand that. Tom's doing him now, though. Yeah, but, you know, he could have talked to me first about it. He didn't just have to do this. Alright, uh, next! I mean, how can it get any crazier? If Tom comes back again, oh my or somebody gosh. else. As a werewolf. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, snap! Yo, dude. <laughs> uh, we'll take crazy. the NDA right here. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, it's a, it's a hundred dollars on the floor. What's up? What? It's a, it's like something on the floor. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we'll have you stand on the edge, man. What makes you want to be the McJuggernuggets cameraman? I, I, ju I, ju I just wanted uh, to, to be your cameraman for, for, a, uh, for, for an, an experience because I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit. I mean, I, I, I know that uh, we don't, like, like YouTube has changed, but, but now we're just moving on to like Storyfy, you, you know what I'm saying? Keep it safe. Bro, no, 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 look at that. Could you bust a freestyle for us right now? Yeah, actually, yeah, we'd love to hear that. I mean, I could play a song to do No, no, we want to hear from you. Let's just hear you rap. Roll freestyle. It's Mystic 19, and I'm not scared to tit it a bar of it. I'm hard, I'm a steal. Just like a bar A, you feel me, bro? Yeah, yeah, all right, yo. All right, Mike. I like to have fun, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever rap battle, Mike? Rap battle this guy. Oh, I can. God, I'm, I'm only insult. Me. I can only go insult. Stand insulting. up there. Get on the X, Mike. Let's you see. don't want me to insult this guy. No, go for it. Can you win a rap battle, this guy? 
Oh no, he will he'll murk me, man. He'll murk me. Oh come on, Mike, don't he's a softie. <laughs> Mike, get up there. Give him a give him a bar real quick. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, let, All right. Let, let's have some some fun for the Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, man. Alright, All right. so when he when he comes at you, then you make sure you go back. Alright, Mike. Okay. Uh this guy is stupid. To be McJuggernugget's camera guy, man, he's useless. I hope he goes outside, man. I hate him, man. I'm gonna shoot him in the air like he's Cupid. Ooh. Oh, all right, this one. All right, all right, all right. It's Miss Eight Nineteen, and I ain't scared of nobody. I'm the. I'm gonna be the best cameraman on earth. What's up? Oh, <laughs> oh you God. try and beat that, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> hey, man. Oh wow! I should have stood the W. He said you he got done. Me. Oh, hey, got wait, me. wait, wait, Mike. I like your tattoos, bro. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, I thought you were gonna cut them deep there. Can you act? Can I act? Yes. Um, yeah, I can. I can act. Yeah. Have you uh any experience with ladies? Ladies. Yeah. Man. Oh. You know I love the ladies. Bro. All right. I knew it. You want to do right? We have just yeah. So we have just the scene. So we're gonna be shooting a rom com, like romance comedy movie, uh, in the in the coming months. Uh huh. So we're looking for a lead. Like this is a full time paid position acting gig. And you actually get the Mac on some serious girls. Like it's a player movie, like you know, like James Franco getting all them women. So we want to see what you got when it comes to romanticizing. Mm -mm. All right, yeah. So that's why we have Brian here. I like that. I like um, that. So let's see what you got. Work your magic. I'm gonna say action, and then we're gonna see what you can do to woo our female uh, cast member here. All right, and action. So, lady, can I get your number? What's up, girl? You look kind of cute today. You got your phone number? You trying to go out? Okay. You trying to have some good times, you know? Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Shoot, we going we gonna to go to Applebee's, you know what I'm saying? Eating chicken tenders. Have some good times, man. Good times. What are yeah. we going to do after Applebee's? Where are we going to go after Applebee's? Shoot, we going we gonna to go to the movies, watch some Captain Marvels, you know what I'm saying? Get lit, man. Have some good times. What about after the movies? Where are we going? After the movie, maybe maybe we can crash into the party, get a couple of drinks, you know? It don't, it don't, it don't matter because, you you know, like as long as in the crib, shoot, everything is legal now, you know? Drink, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm 18, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I gotta go. I'm yeah, out. I'm let's out. go. I'm out. Let's we are out. Let's let's set, let's say, okay, so you got him back to the house and say you're in the bedroom now. What What is the course of action here? Brian, we're still mid scene. Wait, what? So say you got him back to your place, right? Yeah, back to my place. So what's the next course of action? Because there will be there will be a sex scene at some point in the film. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't I don't mind making sex scenes as long yeah. as like it don't go um uh, 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 above the no bar. Penetration. You know? Huh? No penetration, right? Cause the no. girls that we got, they're like 21, <laughs> yeah, no. 21 to 23 range. Like these are supermodels. So like, would uh -huh. you be fine with penetrating them for the scene? Oh, we are doing a penetration. Yeah. Oh, I've been missing yeah. for But it's I'm for sorry. the models. As long as you guys provide condoms, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Nice. All right, cool, man. Dude, all right, probably not right for the cameraman job, but for acting, we like what you did there. What do you guys think about Thank the you. acting? I think, I think he's a, the leading man. Brian, what do you think? Oh, I felt the connection. I think you did a great job there. I was getting Thank you, Brian. You think for the job or for something else? For the what? For the job or for like a gig or are you talking about for something else, the connection? What do you mean? Like acting? Like an emotional connection. Yeah, I don't know. It was a weird choice of words. Yeah. We, did, we just did an acting scene together. Was it acting? I, didn't, really I thought he was acting. I didn't know Smarts what you were, were doing. Smarts were flying. Oh, you, you thought we had something there? Yeah. I, there's a like chemistry. Yeah. yeah. Chemistry, yeah. connection. Do we have his number? Yeah, did we get your did we get did you bring a resume in, Oscar? Uh no. Okay. Okay. We'll okay. just get your yeah, we'll get your digits yeah, on. Like, oh, oh, no. oh what is broken. Alright, well pen? you can use a different uh <laughs> pen here. What's wrong with the pen? I don't know. It's not it's broken. not clicking. You alright, Mike? Alright. Dang, dude. Did busting you our pens on. Or yeah. Have you ever tried one of these? No. Good luck. If you can right, solve that in 20 seconds, dude, you're a legend. Wait, how, how come this one I can't I can't bend it like like? Well, you gotta start on the silver yeah, side. Yeah, you're doing the wrong side. Yeah, there you go. Oi. Oh, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I feel some like so, something in my in my body. It's like popping. There you I go. got hey. it. Like You're the only one today, man, that earned the Oreo. Yeah, Nobody man. else earned it. I think I, wait, this, oh. this has nothing in it, right? Oh, come on, dude. What do you think, bro? 
Maybe some like a, a, a edibles? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe some like edibles? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you ate the dude with what? No way! Why what would you eat that? that? Dude's got rat poison in it. Oh, oh my god. god! What? What? Rat poison? Rat poison. Not the good kind either. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I thought this is it. No, what? <laughs> Dude, on the wrong bro. <laughs> well, you're gonna die now. <laughs> yeah, like, what? Yo. Wait, wait. Did, oh, there's rap inside. Wait, what sleeve so, did he grab? So, where, where can I fit it out? Because that one's rap and that can. one's anthrax. There's a trash can right over wait, there. Wait, I, uh, I yeah, grab it from here, right? Oh, that's the rap boys. The anthrax is that one. Either way, you're done. Wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna die, right? I last, I ate the you last animal. You didn't fall. You didn't right fall. No, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to fall. <laughs> <laughs> you might fall into this. Shout out to these guys right here, man. They're the best. Like, oh, I, thanks, I, I, I've you. been a fan of you since 2014, bro. Oh, dang. You gotta get Still really watch nice. your videos, bro. No, bro, I appreciate you, bro, man. Bro, keep up, keep up the hard work, bro. Thanks, you gotta get a picture of I really, I really love you guys, man. Much love, though. You got your phone, man? Yeah, whatever you got, Twitter, yeah. whatever, whatever you got, get you a picture with Jesse, man. That's fine. Oh yeah, no way, bro. Like it's, it's really is you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real dude, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I, I, bro, that, that's crazy. Like I'm like shocked. Nice, man. Well, I appreciate you watching. I can tell. I always tell who actually watches this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a real reaction. Yeah. yeah. Keep it rigid. Yep. Keep it rigid and stay lit. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on next week, guys? Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll take your NDA form and your resume right here. All right. Uh, walk me through the resume here. What's uh, your prior work experience? So um, before here, I didn't really have any dome jobs. I kind of worked at a pizza place for a little bit, like in 2017. And then uh, after that, if you know what Medellis Cordingas is, it's a yeah. sponsor. I worked there from 2017, 2019, like junior year and senior year of high school. What uh, was there? What's what was your biggest takeaway from working there? Um, you gotta be good with people, like and especially with like something like YouTube. You, you're dealing with a lot of people, so you definitely gotta be social. Like I worked in the footwear department, so I sold shoes. So you gotta be able to try to sell something to a customer. Like, oh, what's so good about this one compared to this shoe? So, so uh, sell me on yourself. Um, for for the job, hundred percent. That's why you're here. So, I think I make a good cameraman because I have a lot of experience with a DSLR. That's a, a lot of people come in and just shoot with the phone. They don't know the actual settings of a, a DSLR camera. Um, I think I'm pretty good at setting up shots. I know like with your channel specifically, it's pretty much all one take. So there's not really too many switch of scenes. So you got to kind of know where to place yourself as like it's going on. I got it. I got it on the ring. What is that? My high school ring. I got a camera on the side of it. Oh, man. Are you known as like a film guy yeah, in school? From my school in my grade, definitely, yeah. Where, what, what was your, like, your favorite movie my growing up? Or like, what, what brought you to, to this, to right here? I think the movie, uh, probably Science, it's by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, definitely. That's probably my favorite movie of all time. Freak you the hell out. You yeah, and there's a lot of like foreshadowing in it. Like, for example, with like the, the water, like throughout the movie, there's a lot of water in it. and so like, why do you need this? Like, why can't you just use a new glass? And since they didn't, you know, that's what ended up killing the alien at the end because they hit all the water. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. I, love, I love that movie. Nice, man. Yeah, I see movies a lot, whether it's my friends or just myself. Like, I'm just in into film, but I definitely watch a lot of YouTube. You, you yourself. Um, um, mostly you, because I like your aspect of YouTube. You use YouTube not as a platform to, like, upload challenge videos, but more just to share your creativity. There's not a lot of sites you can actually do that on where you'll get buzz and stuff. So. Have you done a so far? I did. Nice. Tell, tell my friend. <laughs> nice, nice. What do you think? What do, what do you think drives you? Why are you so passionate about this stuff? Um, I think that the reason I like film so much is when you're finished. What it feels like when you finish a video, like when you show it to people, and like, wow, that was really good. I really like that. Like, uh, being able to like hear from people, like, um, you're definitely good at this. You're creative, like. I like what you can put behind the camera and to what I'm seeing. Like, I think I think the main thing I love about film is that there's so many little things, but like the little things are like what made the whole, you know, film movie show really pop. Nice. I like yeah. this kid. Yeah, oh. me too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Unanimous. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see his work. Mm -hmm. You want to see the work? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Brendan, you're going I, through the next round, man. You don't need to say anything else. Really? Yeah. 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 We're gonna we're gonna be in touch with you on email, and we're gonna have you come out and uh, do some hands-on camera stuff. Congrats. 
I told you I'd go out there and pick you a winner. All right, Swift. All right. I said that every time. All right. Well, hey, Actually, that one was pretty confident. He's my I like favorite that. One. Really? He's the one I feel like will have the most connection with Jesse. Yeah, yeah. I felt there was a little something. Right? I liked yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure Sides is one of your favorite. I like too. this kid. That's yeah. the first time I have wrote that with yeah. an, an underline. I see that. You even capitalize it. Oh. You might see, yeah, geez, you'll see Tom cross out like yeah. a hundred times there. Yeah. And yeah, it didn't seem like, he's got some work experience. He was at Models for two years. Yeah. That already beats Swift being at the job of a lifetime for one and a half. And he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have a channel, so he's not seeking any sort of like right. egotistical game. Exactly, right. he just posts it and then keeps it in a box, yep. which is, I love that. Yep. Right. He also has some experience with the drone. Yeah, and he can, and be he trained can totally more. learn. I mean, just the Models, like, if you work at Models for two years, I mean, you can do anything at that point. <laughs> All right, next! Guys, we are on the road right now. We are soliciting and poaching. Yo, dude, so if you pick that up for me, I just dropped that. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, I thought it was cemented in. No. See, this is what we need to do for advertising, guys. We're walking the Rowan campus right now. We're looking Swift for the McDermott like cameraman. Garbage. I'm gonna throw it out. Dude, dude. The garbage can. Dude, feed the one of these squirrels. They're literally no, domesticated. Man. But guys, I've been trying to get in touch with Rowan for the last couple weeks. Uh, Michael feels like he's at Hogwarts right now. He's geeking out everywhere. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to get in touch with my college. Like, I've been trying to hit him up for the last two weeks. They've been ignoring me. I don't know if I'm blacklisted for destroying my degree so many times. But uh, just trying to offer the seniors a really cool job opportunity. So we're literally heading to the film department right now. To Rowan University, and we're gonna try and uh, get some MJ and Cameraman auditioners. We got a few hours to kill. Let's go. Oh, so if you pick that up for me, dude. Yeah, I dropped that. This one's actually submitted. Ah! <laughs> I Why got him. The other one. Yeah, was, I, I think Swivelly ripped the cement off. The old stomping grounds. Feels good. Feels a little weird. So if you never went to college, right? Hell no, it was a scam. No never got the experience. Oh, strong words there. It's a big scan. He's not wrong. Well, if this is not symbolic of everything. Dude, I walked all this way. Oh, God, Mike. You walked five minutes. You're about to die. Oh, dude, you don't weigh 370 pounds. Because I walk for more than five minutes. Right. It's not. You got it backwards, man. No, dude. It's metabolism. Can you just be my freaking kid behind a camera, dude? Please. I don't know. Can we audition right now? No, dude. So you what makes you passionate about film? Making dramatically more money than you're going to offer me. Oh my god. Dude, you wouldn't pay me enough to do the stuff the Swift has to do. <laughs> no, you're pretty sure these What if it wasn't about the money, Michael? What if something in your life for once wasn't about the money or views? But I make good content as well. Yes, yeah, that smiles because you know it's true. I'm pretty sure you had corn, god. like, <laughs> Swift picked the corn out of your <laughs> what? I mean, that's hysterical. If we did, that's genius. It's true. <laughs> I kind of want to see it before he leaves. You really want to be my camera? No, dude. I have a life at home. He's about to have a kid, too. Oh, God. You know, how about you raise your kid to be the next McJarrion's cameraman? I'm going to raise my kid to be the next kid behind a camera. No, camera. it's going to be the next Ryan's toy reviews. <laughs> this poor kid's going to be like a slave. <laughs> Oh, Dude, right. well, Ryan's well, pretty happy. That kid made forty million dollars. Here we go. There's a guy over here. Yeah, I can't go there. Yeah, I'm running. What if we push there fast? Let's try it. Oh my goodness, Michael Green, you're a freaking genius. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Wow, Mike. Is this why you are the kid behind the camera? Rowan TV network. We're gonna find anybody. Oh, come on, Mike. Oh. <laughs> the young girls, I know. I know you have trouble talking to women. You're right, okay? I'm not proud of that. What are these stories? Oh, dude. They're like part of the... Yo, look at that. Look at the smile of that guy. That's a star. All these guys. Joey's telling you, we're gonna find something. We're gonna find someone in here. Dude, where? Why was he here? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Larry's Loungecast. Uh, you can find us on Podbean, uh, Spotify. Why are you iTunes? talking so loud? Who cares? I'm like Joe Rogan. This is crazy, dude. This is what uh, going to school is like, Michael. Well, I dropped out in middle school. So. <laughs> like, middle school's a waste of time, dude. Middle school is? I mean, no, it's not. 
plus two times two. Like eight or something. That's four. Even Swift knew that. Well, guys, I guess that's it. Um, I guess we're gonna head back to the auditions, uh, get some food, and that's everyone for the competition. I guess a little disappointed. Get me out of here, Mike. Just go up to somebody random. I don't want a homeless guy filming for me. Well, you're on a college campus, dude. What was that for? He's gotta I'm, walk I don't back think he now. Wants to walk. Mike doesn't want to walk. He's like, oh! Mike, you can always call an Uber. An Uber, it's five minutes, Michael. You want me to all test this guy? Yeah. Hey man, we're looking for a cameraman. Hey man, are you RTF major? Uh, hey, you want to be my cameraman? Professional YouTuber? For YouTube channel? I got auditions going on at the Marriott. Uh, you ever held a camera? Yeah, of course. Not for real? Like film and stuff. To use a DSLR? Never. Okay. <laughs> Also, you would you be willing to crack that bottle over his head? <laughs> Not right now, man. <laughs> Wait, somebody just said Swift over there, dude. Yo, what's up, man? I'm looking for a new cameraman. What happened to him? He's quit. Uh, this is our last day. I watched him more. Uh, what? I watched yeah. your Jugger Nuggets. Oh, I, I watched some of you and your yeah, dad. The Jugger Nuggets is the greatest like, Exactly. Where's exactly. Lance, man? Dude, you... If you guys like, I need a cameraman. I want to shake his It's a full time thing. I used to watch your videos all the time, bro. Yeah, man, thank you. I love your grandpa. Thank you, man. What's up, dude? Yeah, see? I'm about to be a battle right now. Like a turf war. Listen, your views have plummeted to the point where there's no more battle in Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta get that. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? All, all right, right, guys. I'll see you later. Yo, I'll see you guys. All right, see you guys. See you guys. The they picked me out of you guys first because I mean, of the big red hair. You're kid, dude. What do you expect? I thought they would have picked Mike up first, oh or you God. at least. What, just because I'm big? Swift, no. you have red hair. I'm not walking across the damn street now. You expect too much of me, Jesse. Oh, my. You know what? You gotta push the button over there. Mike can't just wait for it. I don't know how this works. This? Mike waits for things to come to him. You gotta push buttons, dude. Oh! <laughs> I gotta do everything around here. Actually, that dude. That's you the dude in the, the picture. picture. Oh my. Hey, what's up, man? You Are you RTF major? Yes, I am. Are you? I was. Come on over yeah, here. Come over here. Come on over. Bro, we just saw you in a picture on like, what is it, Cinema Workshop? Yeah, I'm with Cinema Workshop. Dude. Oh, dang, he's got his contact up in it. Yeah, yeah. All right, yo, what's your name? My name is Frank. Frank, Jesse. Nice to meet are you. Man. Are you a senior? I'm a junior. Junior, okay. I'm, I'm having auditions over in the Marriott yeah. for a YouTube channel to cool. be my new cameraman slash some talent. Cool, cool, cool. Are you interested? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could be if it's you a send me the details. Yeah, we're, we're only in it for a couple more hours, so I was like some last minute people. Uh, I gotta help out my friends over there. We just came out of a shoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yo, what's up, man? Oh, how are you? But, uh, Yo, good, dude. Nice to meet what's you. Up? Yeah. What's, What's up, your guys? name, man? How you Nick. Doing? Nick. Nice, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. But you can yeah. find me in the office at Cinema Warship. Yeah. You know, Are you guys going to be around for a couple hours? Would you come yeah, to this? Yeah, I'll be there. Full time paid position, man. Traveling all over the world. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. All right. I'll try, I'll try to show up. All right. Sick, man. All right. Yeah, we'll be around a couple hours. Just right yeah. in the lobby. Are okay. you film, film agent, too? I am. Too? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. We're having auditions over in the Marriott right now. We got a couple hours left. I figured to come out here. Rowan hasn't been contacting me back. I think they hate me. They blacklisted me from the School. They probably did. They yeah, probably yeah. did. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be around for a couple hours. It's a full-time paid cameraman position. Channel's got four million subscribers. Wow. Got over a billion, a couple billion views. Mind right. if I get a selfie? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Word. Appreciate that. But guys, that's crazy. We literally we saw him in that picture when we were in the school. Yeah, it was pretty insane. There he was. It was like the face, and it was, he had the face. Remember, I believe pointed at him. Yeah, you're like, look at this guy. <laughs> he rejected you, man. He did. He was like, no, they're all showing up like clockwork, bro. The universe, baby. Let's go. We gotta go back in. They're all the swarming. I think they're coming off of a shoot. Now they're pointing you out. Yes. Yes. The word is getting around, Michael. The trip is not in vain. Okay. We, we got him to walk more. I got a little pep in my step. Because, uh, dude, Uncle Larry was like, there's no chance, Jess, that you're going to get some people back here. Did Uncle Larry really say that? Yeah. yeah he's like, there's no chance, Jess. There's none. Dude, look, they have, a, they have all their shoot. They are traveling. They got all the stuff. Dude, I'm telling you, there's going to be a ringer in here. They're all film guys. This is a perfect. I feel like a, I'm like the hunter. I'm like the, coming for the werewolf. <laughs> One of them's going to die. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry, dude. Yeah. 
I'm gonna eat one of these guys. Dude, is everybody, are you guys just getting done on shoot? Just finished the shoot. No way, because everyone's all coming around in droves. Wow, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? My name you is You got John. some blood on your hands? Yeah, yeah, man. I yes. just died. Yes. You just yeah. died? Yeah, huge yeah. fan of yours, man. I used to see your father kill all your video games and stuff. <laughs> it was crazy, man. I remember Thanks, the, man. The Thanksgiving day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you, bro. John, man. Yeah, I was just hey, you, man, man. I'm gonna <laughs> yours too, man. Hey, thank you, man. Your, your grandfather's funny as hell, thank man. Thank you so much, man. He's funny as hell, man. I remember the PlayStation well, yeah, sure. break so and all that. It's awesome. in, uh, yeah. Homage to yeah. 80s action films. Oh, what? Yep, yep, yep. What's going on over here? Homage. What's up, man? Homage. Here we have the director right here. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey. Nice to meet you. What's up, Nice to meet you, yeah. Dude, so we're actually having auditions for, I'm looking for a new cameraman for Rigid Studios. Okay. It's my channel, we got four million subscribers, a couple billion views, a really serious position is my right hand man. We're only gonna be at the Marriott for the next few hours, so if any of you guys wanna swing by to the audition, highly encourage it. <laughs> oh, all right. Don't Thank get blood you. on his shirt. Ah, uh, used to that shit, man. Appreciate it. All right, yeah, no problem, man. If anyone wants to follow, you I mean, you're welcome to, but. What's the next name? Hours. It's McJuggernights or Rigid Studios. We also have an app called Storyfire. What is it, McJuggernights? McJuggernights, oh, yeah. Oh, I know, I know. I'm pretty, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice, yeah. Man. What a legend, man. man. Oh, oh my god, how are you doing? How are you doing? What's the mission? Have you seen a bunch of camera stuff today? Yeah, yeah, DSLR experience? And I remember the it wasn't DSLR, you were, like, it was like Black Magic. Like, you know how to use a DSLR, though? And, like, yes. I mean, here. Filming these two together right now. I remember that from years ago. Nice. You wonder what happened to this dude's lips? He tried to blow the devil. Oh, god. The poor guy. <laughs> All right, we got the high angle going. That's yeah, all. Yeah, swing get everyone. Get the sexy angle, dude. That's the angle I room. look good in. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got the thinning camera there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah nice, I like man. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if Swift told you, man, but we got the auditions going on in the Marriott. So if really? you're trying to come out for camera. Absolutely, I would love to. Uh, awesome. What time? Right now. In the next three hours. Are you follow us back now, or are you come in like an hour or two? That's perfect. I'm gonna get something to eat, and then I'll I'll, I'll meet you guys there. I love the plan. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Take you guys. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks Sweet very far. much. Appreciate that. Cool. All right. Awesome guys. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Yeah, great great man. I'll see you in a bit. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. All right. What do you think, Mike? I had a good feeling about that one guy. He was very. Which one? Who just who held the camera? The one who recognized me before you. That guy. Oh, you just. Yeah, he was the one that held the camera too. Okay. Star was born a couple years ago, Jess. And then one died. His name's Swift. <laughs> what? Swift is not a star, dude. <laughs> He's a what is it? What is it? A red giant? <laughs> <laughs> He's a dwarf star. Dwarf. <laughs> They're gonna think we lost. We like five contestants. Like nah, that. for real? Oh yeah. Any good ones? No, yeah, we have sent them all away. Yeah, at least I can't yeah. play it. Oh dang! All right, go. Uh. Fucking Josh, that's how it went. We talked to the entire cinema workshop. We literally- Was that three people? No, Mike and I were leaving the building. We saw this dude's picture. He looked like, he was like, I'm Chet Dentida with Art Rowan Television Network. We saw his picture on a board. Literally, we're walking out. We see this guy across the street. We just saw his big smile. We're like, that's the dude! And we're like, yo man, you trying to come out? He's like, ah, I just got back from a shoot for cinema workshop. And he's wearing all the outfit. Right. And then we look back at the building we just left. Droves, literally a hundred of them. They just got done on off a shoot. And I was like, hear ye, hear ye. We have a big opportunity. And so we're gonna have a bunch of people come in within the next hour, like film oh, savages. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. The yeah. universe was like, oh! We're gonna get some food. We'll catch, we'll catch you when we got that. And we got some film savages coming in. They're going for the grand finale, baby. My ringer is in this batch, I'm telling you. Probably don't have the resume because we just grabbed you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm coming from the street, but that's okay. Awesome. Frank. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an RTF and journalism major. I'm also minoring in theater. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. I'm an international student. And uh, I make films with Cinema Workshop. We've done three shoots this semester. Um, I uh, I can I'm I'm good. I'm a good guy. <laughs> good person. <laughs> what are you looking to do for a living? What's your dream? Well, my dream my dream would be uh, I like acting. I like working with cameras. Uh, I like doing music uh, as a hobby. Um, my dream will, will be to make it to Hollywood, but that's, we can all aspire to do stuff. That's my aspiration. Uh, my dream right now will be to graduate and find a work in Philadelphia and just work in Philly and like have a cool, nice apartment over there and hang out and be able to afford like Wawa hoagies and stuff like that. My dream job, I would like to be an actor. I would like to be an actor. Acting, yeah. Do you watch much YouTube? 
<laughs> yeah, I do. I actually, I didn't recognize you. I don't watch your videos, I'm sorry. Uh, uh -huh. But I do remember you winning a streaming award. And I was rooting for like Philo DeFranco or David Dobrik. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh god, they missed it. But, <laughs> but yeah, I remember it. Funny how the universe works. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm now, now I got to meet you, so that's cool. Nice. That's cool. Uh, do you watch Netflix, TV? You I, I watch. I watch mostly YouTube. I do watch okay. a lot of YouTube. Uh, Are you a YouTuber? No, I'm. I, I'm not. I like. It, I've tried to get into it, but like, it's not something that I. I. It's not that I don't feel passionate about it. I do. I feel like I could do a good job of it, but like, that has never been like. You know how kids nowadays have the dream of like, oh yeah, I want to become a YouTuber and stuff like that, and if they do that, it's like a. Uh, a, a job that they aspire to be. That was never me, but I do enjoy the content and I do enjoy the people in there and I do enjoy the characters and the stuff that, that goes on. So, so it seems that you like being in front of the camera in the acting role, but also yeah. you like writing things from yeah. behind yeah, the scenes, I but do. not necessarily behind the camera. Is this a position that you were interested in? I am. I, I'm actually, I do, I, I wear a lot of hats. I'm, a, I'm the equipment manager for Cinema Workshop. So I know all the equipment for Cinema Workshop. I, I, I've been, this semester, I, I was uh, a cinematographer for both of the, uh, two other films, two of the three major films that we shot this semester. What were you shooting on? Um, so, yeah, today I was a cinematographer today. What, what, uh, was, what camera are you using? Uh, we're using the Black Magic, the Black Magic production camera. Uh, and sometimes we use the 7D, but the 7D we use it for like minor shits and stuff like that. Like personally, I graduated from Rowan like yeah. five years ago. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Film degree, it's a complete waste of time. Yeah, I know, I know, man. If you're here for the connections, that's it. Yeah, uh, and even then. Even then, you might get an internship and you get better connections. Than right, and then right. even for Hollywood, they don't, yeah. they, if anything, it's a bad thing to have yeah, a film yeah, degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, Brian here is, uh, is from the hop traditional industry. Oh, really? Um, okay. So he would vouch, he's worked with Adam yeah. Sandler. Oh, really? Okay, Hollywood, that's cool, group. man. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've worked with Fox, Disney, Sony, cool. all, every, all the studios and stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I was interested in the position and, and I just wanted to come and like experience how this was. I wasn't very sure, mostly curiosity. Um, but I, after I graduate, I'll, I'll be definitely looking for a job and stuff like that. I don't know if this is like the best moment for me, but like, I wanted right, to. Right, like, right. No, I appreciate that honesty, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to put my foot in the door and that was it. How this is, is like the next rung of the competition. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be getting in touch with the select group of guys that I want to see actually hands-on okay, camera. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then beyond that and start eliminating people and then but it wins its full-time position. At that point, school becomes pointless. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I, have, I have to get my degree. Uh, it's just like an agreement that I have with my dad, gotcha. <laughs> uh, you know, and like I'm actually enjoying my time here uh, But once I graduate, you know, I'll be I'll be one of the people looking for a job He's a go-getter yeah. man. He's, he's got his hands. I mean, he's he's a hustler, but he's, right. he's, he's here to go to school I don't yeah. see him peeling away. Yeah. Next! I'm Danny. Danny, nice to meet you, Swift. Nice to meet you. Should I do a little, maybe like a Wawa sponsorship? Or, uh, <laughs> Get the uh, brand brand integration yeah, on. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't work there. I just uh, I like the company a lot. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, you doing? hey recognize you? Yeah, I was. Uh, you recognize me? I did not. Yeah. Oh, oh, you? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was, yeah, I'm yeah. a ventriloquist. 21. Are you a senior? Yes. I'm about to graduate. Awesome, man. And as uh, RCF major? Yep. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Okay, so I love doing things, honestly, both behind and in front of the camera. I actually have my own YouTube. It's grossly unsuccessful right now, but once I'm out of college, I'm hoping to maybe bolster up with some more videos. Uh, I do kind of on the street things, uh, both for the YouTube and also for one of the Rowan shows we do. Uh, we do like on the street, we kind of call it the topic every week, we mess with people. Um, I do some anchoring for like some of the news we do over there and then I do another like late night show where we make fun of the news so kind of the best of both worlds there um, I mean the president of the cinema workshop that's what you guys saw when you came by mm. uh, earlier we were just wrapping up our, our my last shoot and um, I was doing some camera work for that otherwise I've done a lot of just different production things for some of these shoots um, been taking these kind of classes since high school uh, I've just loved TV and film for the longest time Who are your favorite YouTubers? So uh, H3H3 H3 is up there, uh, Penguin Zero, he goes by Critical, that's like his YouTube name. Mm. That's refreshing to hear, right Mike? Oh yeah. I've got somebody who actually knows the YouTube space. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's, uh, you got a favorite movie or anything? Favorite movie? movie? Yeah. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite, it's always my favorite. It's right. so ridiculous. Things. Relatable? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite part of the creative process? Uh, honestly, 
doing it, just like being in the moment and seeing what, like you can plan everything out and seeing what changes. I, I like that aspect. Like I like seeing how things can change or how you can like adapt based on circumstances. And I just like being there in the moment and just seeing what you can do with the camera and, and a crew. How about specific steps like, or, or like facets to it? So like acting, the actual filming, directing, writing. Acting is definitely number one. Love acting. Mm. Uh, probably second, I love doing camera work. Third, I like editing a lot. I uh, just, yeah. You enjoy editing? Yeah, I do. What do you edit on? I have Premiere on my laptop. What's your dream job? Dream job is sort of along the lines of the guys of Always Sunny, how they kind of, they star in and write and create the show. I kind of want to do something similar like that, like have a TV show where I'm also like acting. Yeah, well, I'd love to see something you've shot, like you okay. personally have filmed. Absolutely. Um, so we could just get either a link, a channel, or you know, just your email that you yeah. can. Definitely. Ooh. What's up? Some sort of shock pen, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. That sort of shock pen. <laughs> can you do a room too? <laughs> I cannot. I can, you I can try. try. Yeah. Oh, I, Uncle Larry. You want to try wow. it? We've been trying to get everybody to do it. Nobody can do it. Yet. Really? <laughs> I'm going to take a crack at it after this. Yeah. Sure. You can solve it fast enough to get the job. Really? Oh, yeah. I think I solved it. Alright, you got to mix up. Oh. It's a shock. <laughs> it's a shock. <laughs> <laughs> that one really hurt. Ouch. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks man. Good to meet you, man. See, man. And I love your answer, bro. Oh, It's always sunny. Yes, yeah. that's basically what we do. Is it really? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, it's my favorite show. So, in the office, close second. Office, place. exactly the same style, man. Right? Oh, yes. Oh, How are we going? You too, touch. Hey, See I think I have my favorite. You think it is that him? That's, that's a two thumbs up. Yeah? yeah, you like him so? I like him. I liked his his demeanor. I think yeah. everything. Um, I don't know about the camera experience. That's the only thing. But as far as like personality wise, I thought he's like really. Well, he can do. He, he's willing to like discuss mm -hmm. things and try and get to the bottom of it. It seems like he doesn't have any issues. No, nah, like, and he had a personality. Team? You notice when he was up there, he's kind of like kind of getting jokey with it, yeah. and then he does like on the street like interviews and public pranks and stuff. It's always sunny. Was a great answer. Like, so are you like are, are we boring you, dude, or like what's going on? This is all dumb shit, dude. Your auditions suck. <laughs> oh, like that. oh shit, no. Oh, that's the real Michael Green, everyone. <laughs> I was reading important stuff, family stuff. Oh my gosh. The family. He always holds it over my head. Miguel. <laughs> Miguel. I support my family with Michael Green's money. I'm gonna kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about him, Mike? He said it's always sunny. He was a nice guy, I was falling asleep. I'm crashing from the Oreos. Oh my! <laughs> what, was he the? Was he boring you? Was no, no, I liked him. You liked him? Yeah. All right, yeah, Jess. Well, there's two I was I was for myself. <laughs> I'm traveling. I'm going to say that I could. I actually could. Okay. Okay. Come on, Jesse. That's day one stuff. I'm ready to film for you, Jesse. Yeah, we're missing Game of Thrones. Um, who's mm -hmm. to it? Your laptop? Yeah, actually, oh, real quick, Jess. Pull HBO. Jess. I don't know. Jesse. It's like, like, we're pulling can, HBO. Can you listen to me? This is Game more important. I, I, I can care less about Game of Thrones. Try it out. Jesse, there's there is one more. There is one more. And this one's personal. I called this one in. I just it was over. Just do me a favor and wait, alright? This one's actually oh personal. Just, guys, there is one more person. Just wait. Janice is coming back into the building. I'm done. No, it's not for Janice. Hey, he's uh, coming from right behind. Stand here. Dang. You, you called this in? I called Corn. Well, Corn, good to have you, man. Hey, good to be here. Uh, we'll take the NDA here. All right. And uh, even brought the resume. Oh, yeah, just in case. Wasn't sure what you wanted. We'll, yeah. we'll take that. All right. Yep, Corn, stand on the X for us. Swift, right. slimy bag. Ryan, can you just also double check that camera for me, please? Just make sure it didn't go out of focus. 27. We've aged. Where are we at now? This is crazy. I want to look at because I, I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. up to the last. Corn, we haven't seen you in a couple years. Uh -huh. um, we saw you at the party. State. And yeah, so when I showed up to your house and everyone was in the driveway that one day and your dad kicked me out, I, I was there for the cameraman job because I know back when we met up in LA, you said that 
you might have something for me, and you had kept on mentioning that there might be something for me, so that's just what I was hoping for. I don't even know this, but we did auditions a year and a half when we chose Swift. We did, we got this room, about him, yeah. we locked it down, and what ended up happening was uh, there was a man in a corncob costume came in, we were all like, <laughs> but it was completely different. I mean, you've been a meme. You're a meme for the channel. That's good. I like that. You're, part of, you're a complete part of the history. Like, everyone knows you. So to take a foot, a step into this room right now, to audition for this job, the audience and myself, all of us here are, we're at a loss. I felt, honestly, like it was fate almost. Literally, just moved back from California, not even a month ago. Catch us up to speed. What What is, since Psychic Could Fleece Country up until now, what have you been up to work-wise, life-wise? Yeah, yeah, moved to California for a little over two years. I was literally just a security guard there. Became a lot more social because you have to talk to people, so that was a good job for me because I needed that. Security where? At a mall. At a mall. Yeah, yeah. So. And you were you were out there. You moved all the way out there by yourself. Yeah, yeah. So what brought you back? So, <laughs> yeah, I just miss family and stuff. What What brought you? What pushed you out there? Uh, I just thought there might be more opportunities for a job and stuff. All right, well, I mean, we're just gonna have to cut the crap, Corn. Okay, fair enough. Why did you leave? I feel like the friendship dynamic kind of just disappeared between us, and it was more just a coworker or an employee, you know, and it kind of hurt to feel that, so I just had to step away from it all for a little bit. Do you understand that you're coming back into the, the business part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm over it now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. You're not worried at all about that. The friendship yeah, or. I think, well, like, now I see it coming. I didn't see it coming before, you know, so now I know what to expect. What are you looking to get out of the job? Connected at the party, you filmed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the skill with the camera is still there? Yeah, it was like riding a bike, man. Felt felt so natural holding it again. I was like, oh, I kind of missed it. Have you done anything in the last couple years with your channel at all? Not really. Just Instagram. Like I post Instagram videos and pictures and stuff. What is your end game right now? So really, I'm open for anything that makes me money that I enjoy doing. Uh, I have a degree in criminal justice, so maybe eventually become a cop, but everybody's mm -hmm. pretty much already hired for the summer by this point, so okay. I pretty much have to wait till next summer now. Is that to... still a dream? Yeah, I mean, it would still be cool to do if, if it works out. Like I said, something that I enjoy that makes me money, that's really what I'm looking for right now. So. More, more practicality. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Last time, uh, I mean, we, we spoke briefly at the yeah, yeah, yeah. but before that it was it was a dock, yeah, it was and it, it yeah, kind of yeah. ended in a, you know, in a weird kind of note like there. Like I said, and, my feelings yeah. were a little hurt. Yeah, no, and I understand. I mean, I, I appreciate the honesty there, and it makes sense, but um, I think stepping back into that same situation, I understand this is like, it's business, right? Yeah. You know? And it's and definitely it's, uh, a little risky, but yeah. I think I'm ready for it this time. Have, yeah. have you followed much of the content of the channel since your departure? Not really, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, I've, you know, I hear things on Instagram, but not like, consistently watching the videos. So. In the beginning, I didn't want to say it, and then after yeah, that, it was just like, for a while, I had two jobs. Okay. So I literally went to work, slept, went to work, slept. That was all my okay. life. Like, I'd be working almost 80 hours a week, so I literally had time for nothing right, else right. for six months, probably. So understand that we, we've had around 30 guys come out. A lot of these guys have a passion for film, TV, what have you and they do have film experience. Granted, you have film experience. We shot the Psycho yeah, series yeah. and everything. Yeah, for like five years before that. Yeah, so I'm just concerned on like, it was never your pick to, to it's not like you pursued film or, yeah, and I, but I know you have passion for movies and I know you know a lot yeah, about that. Movies. And TV, so I don't know. I want whoever has this job to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of these guys have that. So what would you say to kind of counter? Like I said, I actually did love videoing for you. Like I enjoyed showing up to work every day, which not everybody gets to say, but it was really just 
once it started getting a little different between us, that's what drove me away. And but I did really like the whole filming aspect of everything and like being able to watch the videos and being like, I kind of I made that. You know, more like I like shot that. You know, what I mean, like I I got that shot right there and like helped to what everybody is seeing is what I saw. What would you say led to all the deterioration, the friction of? Do you want to be completely honest? I think you were just super tunnel visioned on the finishing the Psycho series, which I completely understood. So then I don't think you really saw anything else. You're saying I'm never changing. Like I'm, I'm that guy. So you're ready to work for that guy again? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I just didn't know it was going to be like that. that was I great. would even have to say that your tunnel vision, your, well, your call tunnel vision is even stronger yeah, now yeah, that's fine. than it ever was before. Right. And it's never not conscious of what's going on. I don't, I personally disagree. I don't think that it was a deterioration of friendship that led you away. Okay. So what do you think it was? Well, I know, we, we know there's a girl in the mix. Yeah. And that completely changed. And that's when the changes started happening. Because I was the same, and you know these guys will attest. I was the same throughout all the Psycho series. When we did the construction series, we had the same dynamic as we did in Aunt Jackie's house, as then you know Uncle Chris, me and you with the farming series. So it was the same thing. It was the same grind. You said you're working 80 hours for your other jobs, and then for us, it was you know five hours a day. Yeah. So I'm 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 not so convinced that there was a deterioration. I was I was heartbroken that that you left because we had taken it to the very end. I was even you know offering the bonus and stuff. And I know you did the videos talking about money and and things like that, but I almost don't think that was the full situation. I mean, you, you know, a girl came up, but just maybe bad decisions were made with that. But. Do you feel like there became a resentment because I was taking you away from the girl? Uh, I don't think so because, you know, everybody has to have a job, so the jobs, you know, you have to put time into some job eventually. Right, well we were established then, I mean, uh, understanding that like, this has always been my business, my baby, my thing, and you helped film for that, um, and it was the arrangement we had. And you know, I paid you more as a, you know, seventy five hundred dollars for one month. I think merits a certain level of gratitude for that. Yeah, I, mean, I was super stoked that month. Oh no! You could say I wasn't. But I, I mean, was. it was still <laughs> a mistake. Well, but we went back down to what it was originally after that. Right, yeah. because I didn't feel like there was that appreciation right, for what okay. we were doing. And it was still a much higher level than what you're getting paid. And I don't know. It's it's these friction, the the friction there, and there is a lot of resentment. So I, I don't know that I could trust you again. I mean, that's fair. I knew there was gonna be a little bit of tension coming in here, but like I said, I mean, what are the odds that I would move back right when he quit? So I'm like, I felt like I had to give it a try. And if you don't want to pick me because you don't trust me, I mean, I I get that. I mean, I'll be disappointed, but I understand. Is there anything you could tell me that would reassure me that this is this is the final, this is it? That that you're the one that you I can trust you, and that all that stuff is just behind and just. All right. So I mean, as you know, I wouldn't talk to you at all after it first happened because, like I said, my feelings are hurt. But I talked to you at during the skiing trip, and I talked to you at the housewarming. I mean, did you feel any tension? No, but it's it's that was different because we were hanging out more as friends and it's more lighthearted. And you know, when when I can get real serious about yeah, whether true. the film or the project, that it, that it shifts a little bit. Um, and that and that was always the struggle. You know, the great thing is I'll, I'll say Swift. Swift comes into the job. We're complete strangers. He understands it's a job, so it's a different relationship. Um, I feel like I can talk about like, hey Swift, your shot wasn't very good, and there's no personal attack whatsoever. He understands that and he adjusts. I feel like with us, I, if I it told you that, it'd be like, been different in the beginning, yeah, hundred percent. It would have been different in the beginning, yeah. And that's what's tricky. And the, whereas like these other guys, they have a leg up because the fresh new experience, you know, they have the passion, and also we don't have all the history. And you know, there's the bad with the history and the good. Like we do have a chemistry, you and I, and it's. It's just hard for me to though say like, cause you only worked really for it was eight, nine months. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm looking for somebody and I told Swift and I told Parker when he worked, the same thing happens. There's an entitlement, there's an ego, and then a girl comes in the mix with each, every 
Dude, and it's painful. I, I mean, you can, but but yeah, it happens, and whatever. We have to sit, watch the cycle, and I, I don't think the cycle would happen again for you. Is I think I you think know, it, I like yeah, had to do something with the how old were you? Mistakes, yeah, so. 20, 23, 24 or something like that. Yeah. So it's a little bit different now. Yeah, hopefully you're more mature now, yeah. right? I, I filmed in both things, the Psycho Series and MVE. Okay. And in MVE it was a lot different than the Psycho Series where, and I don't know what you have planned in the future, but there was times where, like coming over my house, there was blood all over the kitchen floor, right? And Swift had to clean it up. Right, that's that's you that's now. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is that that okay? I mean, yeah. no. I mean, I knew those were the duties back then. Right. Damn. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> but how does he know that in a year from now, it doesn't happen? Are you saying that it's not going to because you're more mature and you're a different person now? But there's nothing I can say that. Well, for sure, yeah, you because know, you never know what's gonna happen in the future. So there's nothing, Definitely help. There's nothing I could say that is for sure gonna be like, oh, it's not gonna happen again, you know, to, to make you feel that it won't happen again. It wasn't just that you left, but then a few months later, there's like an hour long hit piece out on me. And, and some of the things that were said in the video, I'm just like, like specifically, was like, I had to move his laundry. It's like, Jesus Christ, are we that petty that, like, uh, that's a thing? Like, like not even just from a, an employee or whatever, but like just a friend. Like who f cares? Like the f ten seconds, and like I, I had a medical problem, and even if whatever, it's just yeah. Like so, I don't know. I feel like there's there's just a difference in the way like you're proceeding about the job to where there's uh, there's confusion because we've been friends for so long. Right, yeah. um, but like when it comes to like just clean up some blood, it's like, you know, for the opportunity that we get to have entertaining millions of people, I mean, cleaning up some blood is like, eh, I, mean, I don't care, yeah. you know? I don't know, like I said, my feelings are just hurt, so I'm just lashing out. Three months later? Yeah, yeah. no, I was still mad at that point, yeah. You, you said you're primarily money-driven and you want something you can find money for and enjoyment, but it seems to me that you aren't necessarily seeking something for longevity because you still are toying with the idea of becoming a cop eventually. And that's one of the concerns that we had, like, when we hired Swift, the plan was that he's going to be in it for the long haul, right. like, in it to the end. And to hear a comment like that, especially considering the past, like, we, it, it's, it's kind of a red flag, especially for me. So, I don't know, can you speak to something about that? Is that just, was that an alternative <laughs> I mean, just there, or? Just, I mean, obviously, the idea of being a cop is always, like, a thought that could be happening, but if this really works out and, like, we all chill and like vibe well together. I mean, I'm okay with doing this long term as long as you know you still keep getting the views to keep on supporting it all. It's starting to passion. More so, I don't want to just be the escape or the easy answer. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it'd be like uh, coming back to an ex girlfriend. All right. Is how is how I would say. No, no, that's actually a very good example. Yeah, because it's just the easy thing that you know already. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know, he. We, we got together and like you can help me and I and I feel like that that's scary to me because I feel like you just go with whatever's practical okay or whatever you can get the quickest fix off of so mm -hmm. it's like you know you, oh the girl's showing me attention oh, let me go follow that and like oh this is not let me go follow that and like I get that but for the business it's concerning because like I see you left once and you know granted when I had the brain injury and like you had left to I think it was like country kitchen or whatever and you had to yeah. find a job and whatever but like so there was a cycle, there was a little bit of cycle of like yeah. leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back. Um, it's just hard to think like, cause I've been looking for a ride or dime and you were that and like I wanted to, and I wanted it to be like literally 50 years old. I mean, we don't have, we would only have to work till we're like 35 and we could retire. Okay. Like it's just like, it's a different ball game. Like if you still think a cop is in the perspective, you don't fully understand what we do here. I need somebody who's going to be around and I don't want to have to worry about that every day. Like, I don't know where they're at mentally. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. I mean, like I said, all I can tell you is like, I'm in it if you let me be in it, but if you don't trust me. I've given you reason not to trust me, so I understand that too. What, what would you want me to do to prove it to you? Because I would do that to prove it to you. I would like to see you kill the competition. Personally, I want to see... Not literally. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> was it? It wasn't literally. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Um, but I would like to see a fire okay. lit inside you. One that I haven't seen before. Because like... 
I've always believed in you. And that's why it hurt when you left for some and oh, and you left a 10 year friendship. I, I know that's what it was. I get it. And we talked about when you get the first one, it's like nothing else matters. I got my blinders on that. Dude, and I, and I get that, bro. And like, let's acknowledge it at that, dude. Yeah. Um, but we killed a lot of videos. We made one of the biggest series on the internet. All right. And it's hard to fathom. I know you're an incredible cameraman. We have a great chemistry, but you're, you got an uphill battle, and I want to see you warrior this shit and show everyone how much this means to you. Because it's not just me, it's all these guys, and it's the couple hundred thousand people watching. Because they, you know, a lot of people saw, saw the fallout, and they're like, I don't know, I trust this guy either. So if you come into this competition, I mean, even just you taking a step into here, knowing that, that takes balls. I was nervous. <laughs> Bro, I mean, that's, that's, that's courage to come back and to be like, yo, I'm f up, I, I want a job back, and like to acknowledge it and ready to fight some more, dude. I would love to see that. Cause like, like I said, I, I missed it a lot. I like that, and that, I, I probably was another part of the reason I wouldn't watch stuff because I, I was like, ah, like I you messed up. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I missed being a part of the action. You got some stiff co competition, I'm gonna tell you that. Oh, I figured. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's definitely, it's definitely not a shoe in here. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I didn't expect uh, it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even yeah. start to think about it like that, because it's, it's gonna be... Yeah, I think there might be like 15. Yeah, 15 others. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll say for me too, like, you know, we have Jesse's channel, and then we have Storyfire, mm -hmm. which is like a massive thing for me, and yeah. you're gonna be representing Story fire, which is millions and millions of other people. Right. And it's super. Like we're literally now, like, taking down YouTube. Like this is going to be a billion I, dollar company. I, I saw you doing it, and I was I was cheering for you the whole way because I think you have a good thing going, and I would love to help if I could. I don't know if you would need help, but I would be there to help. But you gotta show me the fire, man. Get the bullshit cop stuff out of your head. It's, it's not what you think it is. It's not gonna give you the validation you seek. It's not gonna, and, and whatever your parents say, I mean, they don't understand. There's a million dollar company. You entertain millions of people. You put on one of the best shows on the internet. More views than most TV shows. You did all that. You have a gift with a camera. You know the intuition. You've seen a movies and TV shows. We got the synergy. We know what's happening. We know what's at stake. But I want to see you own it, dude. I know there's a fire inside, bro. I know when you did those videos on me that there was a fire inside of you. Honestly, for a lot of the time, I don't even think I believed in myself. That's why I, I can't, I can't lie. I, I do have to say I am a little glad that I left because the job that I got afterwards, the security job, helped me grow as a person a lot. Like it, it's hard to even put into words how much I grew as a person in those two years, just being able to talk to like, because it's a whole, month, so I'm talking to people every day, and I really, I couldn't give up that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad I had that experience too. Like, I mean, I do feel like I messed up leaving you, but I'm glad I got that experience from leaving you. You were able to see that it was, yeah, and get the most out of it. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Um, you to make a full comeback like that, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, Anybody else got anything? Mike, you've been quiet. I just feel like this is none of my business, dude. This is like personal corn. I don't know. I mean, he could have he could have been out out filming with us. You know, all the collabs we've yeah. done. I mean, do you think corn's that guy to kind of be? I, I don't know, man. I don't know him. He, you know, That's his, true. his work on the Psycho series was good, really good. I just uh, we got Swift leaving, it's kind of the same reason he left. You know, so I don't know. One thing you have to keep in mind is. One of the things that he said, and also, if you look at it, it's like, it is a big step to come in here. I mean, he just faced his demons right here. Uh, it, was, I'm, <laughs> I, yeah, it was scary, because I was expecting to get, you know, the hard questions, so, because I deserved it. So, I mean, that's a big thing for somebody to do that. You're talking about a piece of humble pie. Why didn't here. you, like, go to Sweden? It was one video. Why did you just, like, bail? Oh, that was the, that was the girl. Just, she, she had just come down. Like, literally, she had just landed from... So you weren't going to go to Sweden no matter what? No, no, no. For so, so Christ's sake. Okay. All the Swedes are like, are you kidding me? They didn't feel much fear. No, so, Look, like, okay. <laughs> you knew what I meant. So, like, she landed 
and I was still planning on going. I I had a suitcase packed and everything. And then so it was, was that, oh, yeah. No, no, I had a suitcase packed. I was planning on going, and then she was crying, not wanting me to go. I was feeling like I didn't really need to be there. I guess I don't even know what I was thinking. I kind of just wanted to be with her because she just showed up, really. And uh, I was debating the idea up until I sent the text. Even I had the whole text written. I probably sat staring at the text for like at least a half an hour to an hour of like, should I send this or should I not send this? And then when I sent it, it was one of those things where you see like in the movies where you send it, you have to put your phone down and walk away because I was like, I can't believe I just did that, you know. We're, we're and I, I, I remember, I, maybe we talked in LA about it or whatever, but you were waiting for me to fight back. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Like I kind of wanted you to be like, I don't want you to go because we're friends and I enjoy working with you. And then I didn't see that, so I was like, okay. And you know, I, it's, I understand that's a employment thing, so maybe didn't want to do that. Or and it's a friend thing. You don't tell your friend like at the end of the f the, yeah, thing, the yeah, ride. You know, that was, that was messed up with me. I understand. Yeah, I, I accept my fault in it for sure. I accept that, man. I, I, it, it, it was, it was a breakup, man. It was a heartbreak. Yeah, for... no, dude, like me, I was, uh, distraught after it for sure. Like it was really weird, and not being able to talk to you and stuff like that was weird. For and then, even after I got over it, I still couldn't talk to you because now we had established that we weren't talking to one another. <laughs> so then, then it was kind of weird to like break past that, but I'm glad I'm that shame. we're finally <laughs> the corn. <laughs> glad that we broke past that. <laughs> Jesus. I got a lot of mixed feelings for corn, but like the mix is just walls. It's just walls up. It's fair. But I think you feel me. Um, you're getting, you're making it through the next round, bro. But I just like, Good. but you gotta f just a chance. That's just a chance, bro. You gotta tell for. me. These guys, people are gonna be so sad. People are gonna be so out for blood. These these guys. Yeah. This is like 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 Brian said. I wasn't expecting to be a show or anything like that. I know. Like I saw like this, a tweet that you made that was like Rowan, like film majors and stuff. So I know it's just, people. They just roll in. I know it's people who know what they're doing. And mm -hmm. and then not only that, but we've had very close friends. We got the whole Regina squad out here. Mm -hmm. This competition. A lot of people with a lot of hunger. There's gonna be a lot of people fired up and, and upset. Truth, we don't want to have to do this again. Oh no! Oh, I know I, I don't. I, I, we oh, send people no. home too. Wait, 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 you don't want to have to do what? Yeah, I don't want oh, to have to do no. this again. Dude, you don't want that <laughs> I don't even think corn, corn, dude. People are gonna be hating you. Oh, I know. All these other competitors will hate yeah, your yeah. guts. Yeah. They'll be like, this guy's already got the job. I know, and. I, I understand where they think that, but I didn't think that coming in here. I thought I might come in here and you guys be like... Get out. Exactly. Put you like, on the cross. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, get out! Yeah. And put it this way, he was not supposed to get the job last time. He right. was yeah. the everyone's yeah. least favored. I, I, I saw some, some comments that were there. <laughs> they didn't want to get the and job. He was, he, Jesse would know, tell me time and time comments. again, I do not want to pick Swift. Because everybody's yeah. going to think I want to pick Swift and I do not want... And he wound up being the best yeah. camera shot. So you and they actually it. picked yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. They picked the shots. Because Jesse, right. I don't know if you're going to do it the same way, but mm -hmm. he puts the shots out there. They don't know who filmed what. Right. That's and, the first way to do it. That's not like that. All right. Going through the next round, man. All right. That's, that's, that's all I got. All I wanted. No, no, that's all I wanted. Just, Crazy just mother just... coming out here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I'll show you a text. We'll be in touch. Thank you for not just kicking me out right away and hearing me out at least. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Alright, All right. Right. we'll see you. Right. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. Sorry, Jesse. Sorry, Jesse. Sorry, Jesse. Sorry, Jesse. Jesus Christ. Oh, Larry was nice. Didn't he start that whole porn <laughs> campaign on Twitter? <laughs> Hey, yeah, you're camping contributions there, man. You almost made me spill. All right, guys, honest thoughts about it. Because I don't know. I have very mixed feelings. This is my best friend of like 15 years yeah. on and off. So, like, you guys have a different I wrote perspective. I off until Uncle Larry made the comment about him actually showing up here, knowing of the wrath of <laughs> that we were going to give him. And talking about the friendship dynamic, he was more defensive than anything. He, he, he would accept 
responsibility, but then he would also put it on you too. And right. It, it seemed less about like him there wanting to apologize and wanting to like own up, own up to his own mistakes. Uh, it seemed more like he wanted you to do that too. Right. It, it seemed it, it, that I kind of got this impression that he wasn't just here. And then when he was talking about going for back for like to be a cop and everything, it's like you just they're looking for money yeah. because you just moved back home. Right. Right. I think it's a natural reaction from anybody if they to not automatically take everything on themselves as saying like I'm the problem. Right. You know what I mean? So I think that was a natural thing from him. I think he does realize that he's the problem. I just don't think he wants wanted to admit the whole the whole thing at the beginning because he basically said it later on. Right. Um, Corn's a pretty even keel dude, right? Yeah. So you never see the extremes. You never see you never see the highs and never seen the lows. So it's hard to judge like how bad he wants this, but maybe for the the corn thermostat, this is as high as he gets. I don't know. I mean, you've known him forever. I just think it's tricky for him. He couldn't deal the, the business and friends thing all together once. I think that was really tricky for him to navigate. Mm -hmm. And that, understandably so. But I think you've made it pretty clear today that that's the way it's gonna be. It's just gonna be a business thing. And I think he's, I think he's grown up a lot since the last time I've seen him. Mm -hmm. I think he probably gets that. Yeah. I just don't want this to be an easy reach for him. He's back home, and this is something I can just grab and do. Right. And so it's the X. So then go back to the X kind of thing. I'm like, hey. You know, I want to see the corn that when we were at Aunt Jackie's house and doing those kind of videos, as opposed to the end of the series, mm -hmm. when he was on his phone all the time, when you were directing and stuff like that. I want to see the guy that, you know, is paying attention and, and wants to do it. That'll be a big telltale. It's like, is he listening to you? Right. Because remember before, we didn't feel like he was listening. I, and that's that's what I'm fearful of, is like, say, yeah, okay, honeymoon phase, like, repeat, and he's mm -hmm. back, and he's like, all right, it feels so good to be back, yeah, and then one months, or two months or later, yeah. yep, and then he's just right back to that same cycle. I wonder what money he expects, too. Yeah. He, has an one, right? mm -mm. he went down the next month, but what, didn't he go down the next month to what the contract was, though? He went down to higher than the contract. Right, so... I didn't even complete the first year so yet. The, so the other one that you paid him, that he was like, oh, that's good, and then I went down. Right. But wasn't that your contract? The other thing was like a bonus. Right. So, you know, I caught that, too, when he said that, and that's... And there was a, there's a bitterness to it all, right. too. It's still, mm -hmm. and that's... Uh, I feel like there's like a connection and like chemistry that you can't get with anybody else that you'll have with him. You've known him all your life. You know what I mean? Same time, he burned you. Do you think there's a second chance? Do you believe in a second chance? Of course. No. I'm giving him. I believe in him. I guess he does deserve a chance to prove himself, so. Yeah, I, I, I again, yeah. that, that step to come in here. Yeah. Not too many people would do that. Yeah, I gotta give him credit for that, man. But, what? I also made it very easy for that. He was just at the party. I was drunk. I was probably yeah. like, "Hey, yeah." Yeah, and I talked to him a little bit at the party too. But it's still. I mean, it's a great gig. Anyone, like, right? I mean, right. you just gotta you gotta hold the camera. Tell me about it. like why was he on his phone and stuff like that in the end? He was just zoning out. And he's just checked out. You know, yeah. I think he just genuinely enjoyed like he he enjoyed being on his phone or talking to like people or so whatever. Like, listening like, to you. Or? He would tune in and out, you know. But I think there's he never a missed level. a shot though. Yeah. I think it's just there's a drive and there's not a drive and people with not a drive they get pulled in different directions pretty easily so yeah, it's more easily losing. yep i gotta say even to this day swift when you're talking he's laser focused mm -hmm. you? i gotta give swift that there's a couple times where i was talking he kind of like then jumped in a little bit and it's just like but that's like it was more of a friend it was more of a friend's overlap like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and less of a like just listen and then execute right it was so uh, I don't know, I mean, all right. Guys, I can be talking about this and thinking about this, and that's gonna be most of the competition. Swift, you're wild for calling him up and bringing him in here. I, I, was, I, did, I wasn't sure if Corn would show up. I really wasn't, but I guess, did you sweet talk him? Yeah, I hit him up on Instagram DMs and- Insta DMs? Yeah, and- Who else do you slide in DMs on Instagram? You don't want to know. Oh what? Don't tell that. Mike. Just don't tell Mike. It but was actually more. Dude. It was actually more Twitter. No. Anyway, guys, um, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Drop some likes this video if you enjoyed it, guys. Listen in the comments who you liked from today. Um, please don't just immediately say corn because you know him and he's familiar and he shot the Sega series. Seriously, look at these guys. Watch the interviews. Help us out. Um, we're gonna be getting in touch with all these dudes, and uh, we'll be moving on to the next round of the competition, which is holding the camera. And we'll see who has what it takes. I think we're going to weed pretty much three quarters of the competition out right there with that. Let me know if you believe in second chances. Love you all to death.
And don't forget to download StoryFire in the description below. Ha! <laughs> Keep it rigid! Yeah! They lit! They lit! Thank you, judges. Yes. Our work here is done. Until next year. What? <laughs> Not again! Oh, hey! Not again! Hey! Uh, Went Swiss last day? Today? No Today. way! No, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll we'll see you. Hopefully, this never happens again. Honestly, I I, I told the guys yeah, here. I was like, I think this is the last one. This is the final one that'll ever happen. And that's the fear with getting, <laughs> you know. But you got to think about like even though all these other guys, you don't you don't know that you can trust any one of these guys there. Right. But I can trust Corn just as much as anyone. Right. Exactly. Else. They could be yeah. better. They could be worse. You don't you don't know. I thought we cut the camera. Welcome to the game of life. Already?